In the opening scene, a medieval looking man is traveling along the road, minding his own business, when suddenly, a giant demon monkey appears in front of him. <laughs> the man is then ruthlessly attacked and sent flying like a rag doll, as the demonic beast appears to be just too powerful. I hate it when that happens. Following this, we are given a brief introduction of the man. He is Sun Wukong, an arrogant guy who had created a ruckus in the Heavenly Palace hundreds of years ago. It is revealed that he had broken through the sky and caused chaos. Chaos. Which ultimately led to him being expelled from the Heavenly Palace. Now, he has fallen to the Earth and is imprisoned, but his whereabouts are unknown. Moving on to the present, we are introduced to Yi, a young girl who is on a mission to find Sun Wukong. She hopes to locate him so that she can seek his help in reaching the Sky Palace. Turns out, Yi wants to report her tragic fate of losing her parents, who were killed by Long Tai Zi, the god of dragon. One day, Yi arrives at the supposed location where Wukong is imprisoned, but she encounters evil demons who try to capture her. In an attempt to escape, Yi starts running, but the surface tears apart, and she falls into it. With this, the demons are about to capture the little girl, but suddenly, they hear a familiar voice. It is none other than Wukong. The only problem is that he is bound by shackles, so the demons completely ignore him. But just then, Yi accidentally touches a button that releases Wukong from his imprisonment. Now free, he quickly defeats all the bad guys using his flashy moves before fleeing the place with Yi. In the following scene, we see Tai Zi gazing upon his old palace, which has been destroyed by the mighty Wukong. He is still devastated by the incident. At the same time, a maid enters with his drink and starts making fun of the old palace. This infuriates Tai Zi so much that he st the poor maid to death in a fit of rage. After a while, Tai Zi receives word that Wukong has been freed and is preparing to engage in a fierce battle with him, and he's a little tougher than that maid. Meanwhile, Wukong wakes the little girl up from her stupor, and as soon as she sees him, she hugs him tightly. But Yi is unsure of how to address Wukong, as she is confused about whether he is a demon or an animal. To clarify her confusion, Wukong confirms that he is, in fact, the Monkey King. You're just a monkey! Yi then pleads with him to help her reach the Heavenly Palace, as she seeks to Report the god of dragon for the grievous mistake of having killed her parents. Wukong doesn't say yes, but he decides to take her to his old home. So, they embark on their journey, traversing through various terrain, until they come upon a village of demons that appears to be deserted. Upon closer inspection, they realize that the demons are being mercilessly shackled and oppressed by a tyrannical ruling god named Shang De. As a result of their past rebellion against the gods, the demons are now being slaughtered one after the other in an act of gruesome punishment. Appalled by this sight, Wukong takes it upon himself to fight against Shang Di and put an end to his reign of terror. However, before he can make a move, Wukong is suddenly tapped on the shoulder from behind by his own brother, Liu, who knocks him out cold. A few hours later, Wukong wakes up to find himself in Liu's abode. Little Yi is also there, enjoying some food. Liu admits that he knocked Wukong unconscious to save him from getting killed, as he knows his brother is currently powerless without his golden stick, which is trapped within the Sea Kingdom. Liu tries to discourage Wukong from fighting against the god, as he had previously made a grave mistake by rebelling in the Heavenly Palace just to prove his superiority. Although Wukong's intentions were to prevent his brothers from being underestimated, his actions had led to the death of many of them. Liu warns him not to repeat the same mistake, but Wukong disregards his advice. With the two at loggerheads, Wukong decides to leave the place. However, he is halted by his sister-in-law, who arrives with several demon armies. Unwilling to back down, Wukong engages in a fierce battle with all of them, and eventually emerges victorious. But then, Liu arrives, and the two brothers start going hammer and tongs at each other. Without his golden stick, Wukong appears to be fragile, and Liu takes advantage of this. Fortunately, before anyone gets hurt, Yi intervenes and manages to run away with Wukong. Elsewhere, Long Tai Zi is approached by a god named Muzan, who presents him with a weapon that has been crafted by the devil. The weapon is said to possess dangerous abilities that allow the user to control individuals affected by its magic power. Muzan gives Tai Zi the weapon in order to stop Wukong from causing chaos, as he did before. The gods fear that Wukong may repeat his past actions, hence why they are concerned about his freedom. However, Muzan warns Tai Zi not to use the weapon for personal gain, and just take Wukong captive, as the decision lies with the Heavenly Palace. Despite this, Tai Zi refuses to cooperate and kills Muzan on the spot, claiming that he does not need anyone's help to capture Wukong. I'll take the weapon, though. He then orders his men to dispose of Muzan's body and falsely reports that Wukong is the one responsible for the god's death. It is evident that Taizi did this on purpose to lure the gods into pursuing Wukong.
Elsewhere, after a tiring journey, Wukong finally arrives at his old home, where he seeks to retrieve his golden stick. At first, he encounters his pet, a giant gorilla, and attempts to greet him. However, the beast doesn't recognize Wukong due to years of separation, and instead becomes aggressive. Fortunately, he manages to calm him down using a banana. Ooh, banana. After that, the two reach the place where the golden stick is being kept. Wukong uses all his might to retrieve it, but he is unable to make it budge from its place. A short while later, a serpent general appears to prevent Wukong from taking his golden stick on Taizi's order. The two engage in a fierce battle, with Wukong at a disadvantage due to the absence of his trusted weapon. He struggles to fend off the serpent's attacks and is soon backed into a corner. In a moment of desperation, the serpent accidentally injures Yi, causing her holy blood to flow onto the golden stick. Suddenly, the weapon comes alive and glows with a powerful aura, ultimately releasing from the seal. This energizes Wukong, and after wielding his stick, he effortlessly defeats the Serpent General and sends his ass packing. After the victory, Wukong's spirits are lifted, so he promises Yi to take her to the Heavenly Palace. In the next scene, we witness the cruel Shang Dei slaughtering the defenseless demons until it's the turn of a child. Liu, who is also there, tries to stop the Heartless God by offering him some money, but to no avail. Instead, Shang Dei demands the sacrifice of another demon in place of the child. Liu stares at his friends in shock, and when no one steps up, he decides to sacrifice himself. The cruel god then prepares to execute him, when suddenly, Wukong appears out of nowhere and starts fighting against the bad guys. Reinvigorated by his magical stick, he takes down everyone and almost manages to kill Shang Dei, but Liu stops him from doing so. The latter reasons that they are not heartless, so they should show mercy to their enemies. After the encounter, the demons start chanting for Wukong, and even agree to help him on his journey to the Heavenly Palace. However, Liu remains obstinate and refuses to support his brother, prompting Wukong to leave with the other demons. Meanwhile, the Serpent General reports to Tai Zi about his unsuccessful attempt to stop Wukong from retrieving his golden stick. He also discloses the important information that a little girl's blood unsealed the golden stick. Tai Zi is enraged by this news, so he decides to have the girl arrested, believing that her blood can activate the magic weapon provided to him, too, by Musa. On. Sometime later, Wukong and his group of demons continue their journey to fight against cruel rulers in different villages. Their battle is successful, and they manage to overpower the oppressors with ease. Following this triumph, they decide to celebrate with a small party. However, unbeknownst to them, the Serpent General sneaks into their gathering by disguising himself as one of Wukong's demon army. Later that night, while Wukong and Yi are spending some time together, the little girl reveals that she has led a lonely life since her parents were killed by Tai Zi. Wukong Kong tries to comfort her by reassuring her that he will take her to the Heavenly Palace soon. The next day, Wukong and his army successfully capture Shang Dei. Although Wukong wants to execute him, Yi, who is fed up with the violence, thinks otherwise. She frees the cruel god without thinking twice. This decision leads to an argument between Wukong and Yi, causing her to leave in anger. As she walks away, the Serpent General seizes the opportunity and abducts her. Shortly after, they arrive at Tai Zi's place. The latter immediately gets to action and uses her blood to activate his dangerous magic weapon. He then tests the weapon on one of his soldiers by controlling his mind. Shockingly, the poor guy commits the unthinkable. Now, with the confirmation that the weapon works, Tai Zi plans to destroy Wukong's reputation. So, without any further ado, he takes over Wukong's body and forces him to fight against his own army. Despite Wukong's attempts to resist, the magic is too powerful, and he is unable to regain control of his own body. As a result, Tai Zi even makes Wukong kill his own giant pet. The experience leaves Wukong heartbroken and shattered, as he is unable to prevent his own body from carrying out these atrocities. After a short while, the magic controlling Wukong's body dissipates, leaving him devastated and filled with regret. Taizi takes advantage of the opportunity and snatches Wukong's golden stick, using it as a bargaining chip to spare his life. However, Taizi soon backstabs, and just as he is about to execute Wukong, Liu comes to the rescue and destroys his weapon. The movie then shifts to the scene where Wukong wakes up from a terrible nightmare filled with desperation and uncertainty. He turns to his brother for help, but Liu is unable to assist him, as the other demons view Wukong as a traitor. They are even hunting for him because of the atrocities he committed. The future looks bleak for Wukong, as he is left with nothing but his own will to persevere. Following the devastating events, Wukong is now forced to live his life in isolation, 
full of disappointment and yearning for Yi's companionship. He walks around the town with a heavy heart, hiding his identity from everyone who now sees him as a traitor. One day, while wandering around town, he bumps into Shang Dei, who is also upset because everyone has disowned him. So, with nothing to lose, he gives up Yi's whereabouts. This information rekindles Wukong's hope and determination to rescue her. So, he sets out on yet another journey. But since he doesn't have his favorite weapon, he simply carries an ordinary stick. Back at the palace, the Serpent General changes his heart and decides to help Yi because he realizes how ruthless and unjust Tai Zi's actions are, and he cannot bear to see an innocent girl suffer. However, before he can execute his plan, Tai Zi catches him and throws him into prison as well. While in captivity, the Serpent General reveals to Yi the reason why he despises Wukong. According to him, the chaos and destruction caused by Wukong in the past affected all the demons, including himself. After a while, Wukong finally reaches the palace of the Dragon God and charges at him with his ordinary stick. Tai Zi remains unimpressed and unfazed by his arrival, knowing that Wukong is powerless without his golden stick. Nevertheless, our protagonist fights with all his might, using the meager weapons that he has. Despite his best efforts, Tai Zi gains the upper hand and corners Wukong with his trident, intending to strike the final blow. But right then, the Serpent General reappears, having freed himself and Yi using his magic. Following this, Wukong and the Serpent General team up to confront Tai Zi in a fierce battle, but despite even their combined efforts, they cannot defeat the god. Unfortunately, in the midst of the fight, Tai Zi hurls his trident towards Yi, killing her in front of Wukong, causing him immeasurable grief and despair. Tai Zi's intention is to make Wukong experience the pain of losing someone dear to him. However, Yi's death has an unexpected outcome. Her holy blood mixes with Wukong's soul, turning him into an invincible figure, the super Sa uh, the monkey king. After the complete transformation, Wukong's anger takes over, causing the demons to recognize that the Monkey King has returned with a vengeance. Utilizing his extraordinary strength, Wukong retrieves his golden stick and enlarges it to an enormous size, piercing the sky and transporting him to the Heavenly Palace. Here, he intends to report Yi's death and avenge the God of Dragon's actions. In an intense battle, Wukong then fights Tai Zi and is able to hold his own even when the latter transforms into his dragon avatar. He relentlessly beats the evil God and defeats him brutally. However, as Wukong is about to kill Tai Zi, he remembers the promise he made to Yi to not take any lives. As a result, he decides to spare Tai Zi's life. That was almost certainly a mistake. Shortly after, Liu and the Serpent General arrive to support Wukong and kill Tai Zi, but he orders them to stop. Wukong's appearance in the Heavenly Palace is not meant to cause chaos, but rather to make amends and avoid any further disturbances. After a while, Lord Buddha appears in front of Wukong. He acknowledges that Tai Zi had gone beyond the limits, and Wukong's actions were justified. He also expresses his pride in Wukong, who has changed himself and does not seek commotion any longer. Lord Buddha advises him to forgive Yi's departure, as her presence in the world was to eliminate Wukong's selfish nature and help him become a better person. Hearing this, Wukong promises to abandon his arrogance and support his demon comrades in carrying out rightful deeds. Finally, Yi's spirit ascends into the sky, completing Wukong's mission. In the last scene, Wukong is seen recovering his strength at Mount Fuji. Hundreds of years later, a monk falls into the pit, and Wukong recognizes him as the reincarnation of the god of dragons. Unaware of Wukong's true identity, the monk inquires whether he is a demon, animal, or human. These words reignite Wukong's ambition to show the world that he is in fact the Great Monkey King. I am the Prince of all monkeys! Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.